All right, off we go. So we're about to meet Darren and Lisa. Do, 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 do. He's from Australia. Australia. Just so you know, I'm warning you. Love Australia. I know you do, baby. You had a long line of Australian surfer boyfriends before me. <laughs> anyway, they have two kids. Yeah. I love these. Thank you, Mom. Thank you, Daddy. They met in New York, and they moved out here to give their kids a nice place to grow up. They have lived in this house for 13 years. They have never decorated anything. They are so paralyzed from indecision mm -hmm. that they won't even pick up a paintbrush at this point. 13 years? Yes. Wow. And this house is supposedly 100 years old. Is this it? Yeah, this is it right here. All right, here we are. Follow my lead on this one, okay? <laughs> Unbelievable. We're here. <laughs> hey, guys. <laughs> oh, welcome Hi. in. Darren, how are you? Nice to meet you. How are you? Good. Jeremiah, nice to meet you. How are you? Excited to so see you guys here. We're super excited Our to be here. prayers have been answered. <laughs> yes. Yes. This neighborhood is so beautiful. I love it's it. so well taken care of. It's funny because we were looking actually for years. Yeah. You know? And when you see some, see the house like this on a dead end street, it's perfect. Yeah. 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 There was like a whole five years of renovation, so we were doing them on our own, and you know, it was like we started upstairs where the kids can have like their bedrooms, yeah, and yeah. then when we got down here, it just you know just hit the hit the hit the brakes real quick. <laughs> yeah. We didn't know what to do. It's such a yeah. hard area to yeah. you know to try and figure out you know how what's the best way to do it. You know yes. what I mean? And it's, right. it's just do we do. This color, do we do that color? Then what right. do we do here? You know, that's, and it's that's like. That's where we get into our arguments you, over that. Yeah. Like, she wants this, I want that. Renovating your home is such a unique experience because obviously it needs to be functional, but you also want to create a space that feels like a reflection of who you are. Darren, what do you want the house to feel like? Like, what uh, is it? Like, I what do you want to walk like, through the door? Just to feel like home for the kids as well, you know what I mean? And, yeah. uh, you know, they're getting older. My oldest daughter just turned 15 yesterday, you know. How what old I mean? is your uh, other daughter? She's going to be 13. I really wanted to give them a, you know, a nice place to hang out and uh, a nice home. I really adore Darren and Lisa. They worked so hard to find a home, buy the home, create this space for their children to grow up in, and all he keeps saying is he wants to create a space beautiful enough for his daughters. I want to be the hangout house where our kids' friends hang out. Yeah. I want to be the hangout house for the rest of my children's lives. Bottom line is, you guys are not house proud yet. No. no. We want to do, we want to make it a house, a home, but we just don't know where to start. You know what I mean? And we didn't always agree. <laughs> yes, and that too, yes. For us, it's like, where does the entryway start, right. stop? Where do you place your furniture? Should right. this be further back? You know, it's also like an obstacle course. Walk in around there, this you know, way to get that way. You know, sure, I got it. Got so, yeah. like you know, step up here. I mean, this step. I don't yeah. know what the story with this step is. Is this like this little landing that yeah. goes into the what? It, and it sort of goes into the kitchen. Okay, to it's the a great bedrooms. place to receive but people. They, yeah, but the kitchen. It's for like Hamlet. Yes, it's like welcome. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so this room row is like really like where you hang out. Yes. Yeah. Aside from function and flow, how would you like to feel when you come in this room? Um, like a great pair of jeans. Yeah. You know, okay. That's a great analogy. Yeah. It's casual, but not too casual, right? You can mm -hmm. dress it up. I like blues. So this is our kitchen. Wow. What's not working for you guys in Just here? Just the layout, I guess. You know, like rather than having people separated out, we'd love to be able to just, yeah. you know, You're even if it's- You're super isolated in here yes. from the rest oh, of the house. Yeah. This room is not small. It's, it actually has a lot of space to it, but it's not utilized correctly. The flow's off. Yep. I would love this wall gone. I'd love to have a giant island. Yeah. That door doesn't look like it's used very often. No. Maybe once or twice a year. So okay. if it was to go, it wouldn't be a big deal. Okay. okay. Yeah. All right. It feels a little bit like there's like a pressure cooker. Like the lid is on the pot of 13 years and they haven't made one single decision. So finally, now's the time. But that means that, you know, the pressure is on us. Yeah, and making sure that the dream um, that they had matches the dream that we've imagine for them. So we're, just to recap, we're, we're talking about an entry, living room, dining room, kitchen, and a full bathroom. What do you guys, <laughs> <laughs> financially, <laughs> to throw into this dream? Well, you know, we have uh, 185,000. Okay. 185. Wow. So Okay. Yes. I'm gonna take good care of you. I don't know about him, but I'm gonna take yeah, I'm gonna take marginal <laughs> care of you guys, but he'll take great care of you. Really right. 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 appreciate it. Appreciate it's my pleasure. My pleasure. Yes, I know, I can't, I can't wait. wait. This is like, feels very right up your alley. Why? 
because it's like traditional. She got, Alisa kept saying that she wants it to feel like a pair of your favorite jeans. It's like classic, timeless. But she doesn't want it to feel like a grandma's house. But before we hone in on our design, we'll need to nail down the layout starting with removing all the walls to create a family hangout space. And reconfiguring the stairs will not only gain us some square footage, but it'll give us more options with the furniture layout. The goal overall is to make them proud of their home, to make their daughters proud, to bring friends home. So to provide more flow throughout the home, we'll install traditional oak flooring and we'll define the front entryway with a window seat. In the living room, we'll lighten up the walls and bring in comfy yet durable furniture and finish the look with Lisa's favorite lantern lighting. Let's talk through the kitchen. Do yes. you think a white cabinet is the right way to go? I pulled some. I am not feeling a white cabinet for them. I'm actually leaning towards a soft gray cabinet. And then for the counters, I, I thought it would be really pretty if we did like just simple Calcutta. Like white marble, like an old fudge, yeah. you know, like factory. Like and rounded and pretty. We'll close up that door that they hardly ever use. That's gonna give us a ton of room to extend the cabinets and the counters. And we'll install a generous island, giving them the perfect spot for after school snacks and meal prep. Here's the thing. I need to figure out how to give them a full bath downstairs. I think if we reconfigure this floor pan, we'll have enough space for a full bathroom with a shower. It'll be a huge asset for a family with two teenagers. The only option we have, which is not my favorite, is the door opening to the kitchen. But I think that the practicality of having a bathroom on the first floor is more important than how you get into it. Right. When you think of color and texture in here, my instinct is to keep it fairly quiet and neutral. So we're gonna give this room a simple yet timeless tile in the shower to make this small but very stylish space feel as relaxing as possible. Lisa and Darren have signed off on the plans, so now our contractor Mike and his crew can really get to work. We're peeling back the layers of this 100-year-old home to open up the entire space on the main floor. The steel beam is going in to re-support the second floor, which feels great. Up, up, up. My God, keep... Now, Lisa and Darren will have the open plan they dreamed of. We carved out the space for a full bathroom on that floor, and all of that is happening. Energetically, the house feels completely different already. Not to mention the dining room windows being replaced with the brand new glass sliding doors. Wow. Whoa. You walk in the front door now, and the fact that the stairs have this really beautiful landing and right. open to the dining, and the fact that you can engage with the rest of the family in the kitchen. But this is a lot of work, and we are a long way from it being done. Yeah, we are a long way. That neon sign has been refurbished. Oh, you know what? I, was supposed to, I, got a, I got a note that it was dropped off. It's probably back here. Wait, don't take it out of the box. You're gonna take it, ooh, it's very fragile. I know. Here, we can okay. carefully. Kind of need this to work. We need it to be really because good looking. Lisa's, you know, obviously it's her great uncle. That was like, it's like a part of their family legacy. Charlie, the name is some, means something. What color do you not want this to be? I want it to be a soft, gorgeous white because I wanted it to be like in the kitchen and I can't incorporate it in if it's like fuchsia. What if it's red? Oh, everything was red back then. You ready? No. Here we go, guys. Oh no. Oh God. Oh, oh God. my God. Babe, it's a Christmas sign. It couldn't be worse. I mean, I, wouldn't, I didn't even think that it would be two colors, let alone red and green. Honestly, where was, where did, where was this bar? The North Pole. <laughs> Well, what did you think it was gonna be? Blue. A light yellow. I thought it was gonna be like a, a burnt amber. Okay. <sighs> Look how pretty it is when it's turned off. I don't even like those colors together for Christmas. <laughs> well, that was a disappointment. I just don't understand why they didn't go with a soft white. Babe, 
You know what? The truth is, if it's meaningful, it doesn't have to be perfect. Ah! Even like a warm amber. I'd be fine with that. Red and green, what are the chances? Give it up already. It's done. Things are starting to come together at Lisa and Darren's. This busy family of four was working with just one bathroom, but we managed to squeeze in another full bath on the main floor. With two teenage girls in the house, it'll be a big game changer. Their old kitchen was bland and dated, but this massive white marble island will be a gorgeous focal point where the whole family can gather around. Lisa and Darren's home lacked flow, but by eliminating the dividing walls and installing wide plank oak flooring throughout, will unify the space and provide that classic traditional feel that Lisa was after. And we're going one step further, sanding and staining the reconfigured staircase in the same color as the new floors. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Holy. Wow. <laughs> This is not our house. Oh, oh my God. This is this unbelievable. beautiful, guys. It's hard to believe this is our house. <laughs> huh? I absolutely this, love it. This is really amazing. I, I could not even imagine something like this. Wow. Like, I don't even know where to look for. <laughs> <laughs> Your nice, beautiful little window seat moment yes. now that you have, wow. but that you wasn't there and before. And I am going to have a glass of wine there. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> the kids can grab their books. Yeah. And, that's actually antique. The chair we found, we were an antiquing for sure, you guys. Oh my God. Like, we had it recovered to match some of the blue, like denim pillows. Wow. And the jeans. 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 Exactly. jeans. You wanted to jeans. feel like a pair to jeans. feel like your favorite pair of jeans. Yeah. What about your staircase now? I know. When you come I just was like, oh my up. gosh. It really does look like a completely different house. Yeah. And look at our fireplace. I know, right? <laughs> I love the rustic mantle there. Those are lamps that we found from your vintage shopping. So at night, there's like pretty ambient lighting. Speaking of lighting, look at this. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Who would have known? You know, I was always curious what colors I had hoped for too. a white golden glow. Yes. Right. And look at the lantern. There's your lantern. <laughs> <sighs> this is just incredible. Amazing. Oh my god. Oh my. Wow. <laughs> This is unbelievable, guys. This is remarkable. Can you believe the size of what is in here? This, yeah. Yeah, I'm trying now to think just... now how it was before. <laughs> you were just in the corner. And then probably most exciting, guys, because this was one bathroom. You know, four people sharing one bathroom. Exactly. Check that out. Oh, my god. This is gorgeous. Wow. That's a big room. Uh. Show is awesome. Look this at is love the color. I love yeah. it. I love yeah. it. I love it. I love it. Wow, that's crazy. Thinking that, that the kit, that, that the, 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 everything that was here before. You guys like totally, really. totally nailed this. Like, how did yourselves on this one? <laughs>